Hello and welcome back guys, this is Ibrahim Qureshi here As uh, you might see in the previous video uh, that uh, I have taken it upon me to teach you virtualization and uh, we are going to train on vSphere 7 Previous session, link in the description below uh, In this session basically I am going to go through the detailed agenda of uh, each module which we discussed in the previous session For those of you who don't know me uh, I'm Ibrahim Qureshi. My Twitter handle is uh, Ibrahim Qureshi. As you can see, I trade Ibrahim Qureshi. I'm a V expert 2019 and 2020. My blog is agileops.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and like for updates. Let's get started. So, looking into the detailed agenda on the topics we'll be covering. So, module one will be, as I said, what is virtualization and overview of type one and type two. Module two will be virtual installing and configuring which is I'll teach you how to ins install the vSphere 7 we'll do go from basics we'll download the ISO sorry we'll download the ISO from VMware website and I'll talk you through that how to deploy it we'll do a nested lab in our demos here but you can if you have an hardware old hardware a desktop or a laptop you can use that uh, provided it's compatible with vSphere 7 um, or you can still try and use the older version which is 6.7 hypervisor if you want to do that so then we'll understand what v vmware vcenter server 7 is um it is with psc em uh, embedded now and they have stopped doing external one so we'll look into that we'll learn the installation process of vcenter server we'll learn how to connect the um, esx host to the vcenter uh, we'll connect some 6.7 or uh, ESX7 to the vCenter and see. Then we'll dive into licensing, um, the licensing side of the VMware product because la last year since I was teaching my uh, 6.7 course a lot of people has started using it and uh, they wanted to implement it and they needed some help with licensing so this is why I have put that module in, put that uh, lesson in that module so that I can briefly talk you through the vmware licensing and the best license to get if you are just starting off with a POC with vmware really um which will be interesting so i'll go through with that so we'll look into what's new in vsphere 7 what is uh new in vcenter 7 and then we'll walk you through vsphere web client which is depreciating at the moment uh, but it's good to have a look at it a little bit and then mostly we'll be working on HTML5 client so we'll go through some important features tabs like configuration tab network and storage so I'll make you familiar with the HTML5 uh, client then we'll look into module 3 which will be virtual machines template and clones um, I'll teach you how to create your first ever virtual machine we will work with templates and clones snapshots uh, VM settings to you know edit the settings increase CPU and decrease it and stuff like that uh, I'll show you how to install VMware tools, which is very important for performance um, and managing the ESX host um, Then we'll look into advanced features like hot add and uh, CPU and hot plug memory We'll do some live demos around there and then we'll look into hot add uh, We'll look into adding a disk and extending a virtual disk then we'll jump into storage. We'll look into overview of the shared uh, storage protocols, which are uh, Fiber Channel, iSCSI, and NFS. Um, we'll look into adding storage to a data store and extending the data stores. And then we'll look into RDMs as well, which is raw device mapping. These are usually used with um, Microsoft clusters. Um, I'll show you how to uh, move from VMS5 V VMFS 5 I'll show you how to uh, migrate from VF VMFS 5 to VMFS 6 there's no migration tool but there's a process you need to follow to decommission uh, the old VMFS 5 file system and then uh, reconfigure the same lens with VMFS 6 so we'll look into that and then I'll show you how to completely decommission or remove a storage data store or a RDM which is um, basically the process what you need to follow to decommission uh, data store so as you can see there's a lot we are covering in this course and it's not going to be like three days or five days course because we are going to deliver this bit by bit 
it's going to be taking a little bit time but uh, i'm sure you will enjoy it uh, enjoy the journey of learning along with me so after module 4 we'll, uh, storage we'll be jumping in networks so we'll look in module 5 which will be vmware virtual networks i'll um, go through with uh, the standard switches the distributed switches and then we'll look into different type of traffic like vmotion fault tolerance and vm production traffic then we'll look into module 6 which is the advanced bits like vmotion ha drs now remember vsphere 7 has rebuilt most of this uh, re-architected mo most of this like vmotion is having um it's working on a different uh, level it's uh, using one uh, cpu for uh, page fries as opposed to all the cpus on a virtual machine which makes uh, the migration of heavy bulky virtual machines quite easier uh, and then obviously ha is again high availability the drs um, algorithm has changed it's no longer uh, cluster centric it's world uh, workload centric now because the apps the modern applications are you know um, they are resource hungry so they are basically uh, running it every minute as of the drs configuration is um, uh, recalculated every minute as opposed to five minutes which was in the older version so we'll look into those sort of things which will be really fun uh, um, so we'll look into as i said uh, introduction of vmotion and then using vmotion compute storage um, and then introduction of ha then cluster configuration of uh, ha and then as i said introduction of distributed resource scheduler and then we'll look into evc mode and also at the same time as i said i'll compare it with the older version as well so you get an idea what was it before and what is the changes which vmware has bring in for the new version then we'll look into patching we'll look into um, security patching as i said uh vmware update manager maintenance patching with the esx host we'll look into vm ds which is a, a, a server which you need to install if you have a, a restricted environment you can use it as a proxy or a um, proxy server to work around your environment if you have firewalls and if your vcenter is not directly exposed to the internet so i'll talk a little bit around that and then we'll look into the vmware security and compliance side a little bit then we'll jump into some advanced troubleshooting um, advanced troubleshooting like performance monitoring cpu RAM, memory network disk and also we'll look at the task alerts and event we'll show you how to you know try and find out the root cause of an issue how it happened um, and then i'll i'll introduce you to uh, 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 advanced troubleshooting using a new product called vrops which is we realize operations uh, manager which is a monitoring tool from vmware uh, so we'll look into that a little bit and then we'll get started with uh, a little bit of command line with power cli it's always good to have some uh, you know automation skills uh, to your hand to do the repetitive maintain task um, a quick note there if you are obviously there's a lot of available scripts out there for power cli if you are trying to use one of them just make sure you test it ex extensively on your test and dev before you use anything to uh on your production environment and uh, of course it's going to be on your own risk so that's why you need to use it uh, and test it extensively before you're using anywhere uh any online scripts especially okay so and with that we'll give uh, i'll give you some extra resource on how to create your mylan account uh, the resources um, uh, like on vmware hands-on lab which uh, are having amazing lightning labs which are like half an hour labs which you can um, do in your leisure time and um, along with my course which uh, we are delivering so you can learn a lot quicker and faster so as i said it's quite extensive course and um, i'm quite excited to basically bring this um, forward with the next version at the end of the session what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask a question uh, on end of each session which uh, i just showed you in agenda so i want you to comment and l just to test your knowledge whether you understood the topic or not for today basically comment below and introduce me to yourself what level of experience you have and uh, why do you want to learn virtualization maybe and uh, tell me what what's your favorite topic which uh, we have discussed today so comment on below guys my blog is agileops.co.uk don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell 
and uh, give me thumbs up to get all the new updates from me enjoy watching and keep sharing guys cheers